then next water transport water transport there are some vehicles that move in water like boats steamers ships so example for water transport we say boats then steamers ship these are the examples of water transport have you traveled in ship boat okay ships that carry goods are called cargo ships there are ships that carry goods only goods they are called cargo ships cargo ships are ships that carry goods or things from one place to another cargo ship then submarines are ships that can travel under water there are ships that traveling under water it is nothing but submarines we say submarines are ships that travel under the water then a ferry carries passengers across a river or a short sea route in villages and all we can see ferry boats we say small boat we say uh, uh, to short sea route short traveling uh, ferry carries passengers across a river or a short sea route you can see different types of water transport images the ship boat cargo ship that carries goods steamer boat see these are the means of water transports okay yes so the movement of traveling or the movement of transporting goods or people from one place to another is called transportation and the means of transport all the means to travel from one place to another it is means of transport we say there are different means of transport or types of transport hmm? so uh, early man traveled on foot because they don't know how uh, how to make a vehicle or uh, uh, that time there was no vehicle then slowly they um, take animals help to carry goods then afterwards they invented wheel they use uh, uh, that uh, cart pulled by animals to travel from one place to another and also to goods travel to transport goods from one place to another then later we discovered invented man invented steam engine then the transport became so faster so there are three types of transport land air and water these are the three means or three types of transport land transport means vehicles that moves on road like bus car scooter auto rickshaw they are the vehicles that moves on road hmm? and nowadays we have metro trains in many cities to travel within city hmm? in mumbai we can, there are local trains lots of people depend on local train to travel from one place to another listen it so this are land transport then we have air transport aeroplane helicopters are the examples of air transport the vehicle that travels in air and it is the fastest means of transport we say we can easily reach the place within small short period of time it is invent aeroplane is first invented by wright brothers then uh, water transport like ship boat they are water transport the transport that travel in uh, uh, water that are called water transport and there are cargo ship carry goods from one place to another they carry only goods submarines are ships that travel under the water so these are the three means of transport land air and water so which are the examples of land transport yes bus scooter bike etc then air transport example aeroplane helicopter then water transport example yes ship boat etc okay children children yes so so far we learned about land air and water transport next special vehicles and animal transport so what are the special vehicles you know children there are some vehicles they run for special things so we say special vehicles an ambulance have you seen an ambulance suppose in a road some accident happens what we can hear the ambulance sound an ambulance uh, vehicle 
Upward, there will be a siren, isn't it? Red light, siren. Uh, they keep that siren and they go. Then we can understand this ambulance. Somewhere some accident happened, ambulance rush there to take that uh, on the on the spot. They rush to the spot and they take the accident pe people uh, or the person to the hospital. So am ambulance used to carry sick or injured people to the hospital. The special vehicle first one is ambulance. Use ambulance to carry uh, the people those who uh, bet with accident. Huh? And they take people to the that accident people or injured people to the hospital on right time. A police jeep carries policemen. Police jeep also sometimes we can see the siren uh, sound on police vehicle. Then a fire engine. Fire engine when it comes we can understand by the siren where there is uh, any building catch fire catches fire. What happens? Fire people will come. Firemen comes and. They put out fire, fire engine. Uh, you can see a red color vehicle, big bus uh, with lots of water and equipments will be to put out the fire. So fire engine carries firefighters or firemen and special equipment to put out fire. It contains a lot of water, big uh, hose with full of water. They spray water and they put out fire. Then animal transport. Early days people use animal to transport things and they carry people also so animal transport we say animal transport mules and horses are used in hilly areas to carry goods and people mules and horses these are the two animals used by people to transport goods as well as people in hilly areas and all we use mules horses camels we can see in desert area to carry goods. We say camel is the ship of the desert because the only animal we can see in the desert is camel. Camel we use in desert area. Camel we can see. Camels are used in desert areas. Elephants are used in forest areas. Elephants also sometimes we use to they use to carry goods and people also. Elephants. Okay, so animal transport. We use animals as transport to carry goods from one place to another. Uh, not only uh, goods, people also. The special vehicles are like ambulance, police jeep and fire engine. Fire engine. So these are the topics that we learned here. And you can see now children ambulance image. They, can, they are showing here ambulance image. Fire engine image you see fire engine. Then camel cart, see camel carrying goods. Then elephant also carrying logs of wood. In forest areas we use elephants to carry this. Okay. Yes. So, what are things we learned in this lesson children? We were learning about traveling or means of transport. To travel from one place to another. Different types of transport we use. We use land transport like bus, car, bike, auto rickshaw, train etc. to travel from one place to another within a city from one state to another. Land transport. Isn't it? Then nowadays we have metro trains in all the major cities to travel within the city. Then we learned uh, but nowadays scientists are trying to invent uh, vehicles that run on road using sun's energy or electricity why to reduce air pollution because number of vehicles increasing people increasing number of vehicles increasing pollution also air pollution also increasing so it is harmful to us so are trying to find invent the vehicle run on electricity and also sun's energy solar energy using solar energy nowadays we use solar energy in solar cookers or running the streets light Okay, the same way sun is trying to invent. Then vehicles which run on electricity and solar energy. Now, then we learned about air, the air transport, the vehicles that travel in air, like aeroplane helicopters. And they are the fastest means of air transport. Yes. Then we learned about water transport, like boat, ship, steamers, small boat called ferry to travel within a short distance. They are water transport we say. Then there are some special vehicles we learnt like ambulance, police, jeep. 
then uh, fire engine they are special vehicles uh, when there is any accident ambulance rush to the spot to take that injured person to the hospital if any building catch fire we call fire engine and they come to the spot and they put out the fire using water and all then police jeep also to control traffic and to control uh, the crimes in the society police are the to protect us police the traveling police jeep then animal transport animals also carry goods from one place to another not only goods they carry people also like camel in desert areas they use camel for carrying goods and people also then mules horses they used to carry transport i mean goods as well as people in hilly areas elephant also carry logs of wood in forest areas isn't it yes so we learned all this transport different type of transport today then transportation words to remember transportation means of carrying people or goods from one place to another ferry means what a boat or ship for conveying passengers and goods they used to carry passengers as well as goods equipment the necessary item for a particular purpose we use some special things to do something that are called equipment brush up just let's brush up or let's recall what we learned the movement of people and goods from one place to another is called yes transportation transportation there are three kinds of transport land air and water trains cars buses bicycle etc move on land ships and boats move on water aeroplanes and helicopters move in yeah yeah ambulance fire engine police van are some special means of transport so three type of transport we learn land air water car buses trains bicycles moves on land helicopters aeroplane moves in air then steamers ships boats moves in wa on water then ambulance fire engines police jeeps are special vehicles we learned yes life skills how can we book a train ticket on the computer with the help of an internet if you have a net connection at home you know do you know how to book a train ticket in uh, on the computer using net yes or no try to do okay try to find out how to book a ticket we can book a ticket in the computer in computer using internet directly we can book the ticket if you have a smartphone also we can do that so let's see let's find out how to do it okay 